speak the name of Jesus over you. Everybody be <laughs> healed. In your hurting, in your sorrow, I will ask my God to move. I speak the name of all authority. He will heal, he will break, he will restore. Girl. All your suffering has come to its point. He will himself confirm, restore, and strengthen you. Not only in your body, but also in your mind. Everything you thought would never break is breaking now. That trap you thought you're closed in, that cage you thought you're locked in, he has the key and he's unlocking the door. He is waiting with his arms wide open. Do not resist his call because he's waiting. <laughs> With a smile on his face, yeah. light in his eyes, yeah, he's waiting on your heart. Yeah. Your heart is your his. Yeah, yeah. Your heart is his. Good job, girl. Your home is not a place to battle. Your home is a refuge. Yes. Your home is a refuge for his spirit. Yes. Your room is not a cage for evil to dwell in. Yeah, it is a place for angels to come and minister. Yes. Yeah. It is a place to, for angels to come and speak to your heart. And every evil spirit that thought had control, no longer do you have control. No longer do you have control. All anger and hatred, you are no more. Fear and hopelessness, you have to leave this place. You have to leave. We need to lift off them now so we can sing your praises without fear, without trepidation, without despair. Songs, songs that were written in sin to glorify sin, to glorify darkness, God is changing that. Yes. All the secular music that is being put into the ears of the young people today will be taken away and will be replaced with the words that bring life, that break off the chains that have bound the hands and ankles of Gen Z. Gen Z shall be a generation of revival. Gen Z shall be a generation that knows the fire and passion of the Lord. Gen Z shall be a generation that knows the heart that God has for us. No longer are we cursed by past generations. All the curses spoken over us by those generations are broken by the name of Jesus. And it is in the name of Jesus that we will rise up and we will use our voices to proclaim the glory that the Lord is showing to us right now.